Yeah. Adam, we want to bring you in before the end because in addition to what happened on the high seas, uh, you have the West Bank attack on a young Cooper Union art student, a student in New York who was in the West Bank. Can you explain who she is and what happened? As you said, Emily is a 21-year-old Cooper Union art student who is there uh, in the West Bank joining the International Solidarity Movement as an activist protesting uh, what's going on in the West Bank. I mean, obviously, Gaza is very bad, but there is, continues to be land confiscation, home demolitions, the building of the wall in the West Bank. Emily was attending a protest at Kalandia checkpoint demonstrating against what happened in, uh, to our flotilla. The Israelis opened a barrage of tear gas canisters, fired a very close range at her specifically. Uh, eyewitness accounts talk about two tear gas, tear gas canisters being shot right at her feet and then a third being shot at her head, hitting her in the left eye, I believe. And uh, we have received word from uh, the doctors that she has lost her left eye. This is yet another attack on an unarmed international civilian coming to join the Palestinians in protest, coming to stand up for human rights. There is a war. There is a war now. Israel has launched this war. It launched it earlier with attacks on Rachel Corey and Tom Herndall and other internationals. But this is now an open war Israel has launched on foreigners. On, there is no citizen. There should be travel warnings issued now to all foreigners that go, trying to enter Israel or the occupied territories. You are targeted by Israel.